Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought it was time that I did an updated Hermes bag collection video because I have to say in the past couple of months, I have gotten quite a few Hermes bags in. So I thought, you know what? It's time I update this video. Um, I am not sure if I've gotten rid of any since the last, yes I have. I have gotten rid of some. Um, so it is going to be a brand new video. I have 14 bags to show you guys. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm going to start with the largest to the smallest. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. I can't remember the orders that I purchased these in, so that's just what I'm choosing to do today. First MS bag, you guys have seen it on my channel many times. It's my huge Birkin 40. Um, this bag is one of my oldest handbags. It is tattered, it is torn, it is used. And to be honest, I really do not use this bag anymore. I use this for storage in my office. Um, at the moment, it's housing a lot of equipment. Um, yeah, but apart from that, I don't really use this bag. So if anyone is interested in this bag, give me a, um, a shout out on Instagram. Um, I just haven't even thought about putting it in my sale because I thought it was too old and worn and tattered for anyone to want it. But if you guys are still interested, let me know. It is worn, it's tattered, there are scuff marks on the corners. It is a used Birkin. Really nice piece for a wardrobe if you guys were styling up a wardrobe or something. I think um, really beautiful accessory. I remember when I was... Uh, I took some photos for a magazine for my previous house. Um, it was quite a special house and a magazine was coming to take some photos of it and I displayed this bag um, out and about in my house and it just looked beautiful. So there is um, a place for it and that's probably why I haven't gotten rid of it in so many years because I just feel like it's a decor piece now. It's a shame to me because I don't use it functionally as a bag, but I do use it as storage. The next two bags are my Hermes Kelly 32s. The first one I want to talk about is this yellow one. Um, this one brights up my day. I absolutely love this color. You guys may know yellow is my favorite color in the whole wide world. But I have to say when it comes to handbags, it's not a color that I grab often. And I find that it's a little bit tricky to style. It doesn't go with absolutely everything. Um, yeah, and it does kind of stand out quite a bit. So that's probably why this one doesn't get reached for very much. But I still love the size. Um, I recently used the 32, the red, the burgundy one, and absolutely loved it. It just fit everything, which I really appreciate. Um, I put it, I think this is the Dior Twilly um, on it. It sort of had, it's like the... Uh, astrology collection that they had a few years ago and there was like bits of yellow and blue and I just thought you know what I thought it was really beautiful I also still have my little poof which you know what guys I'm over the poof I'm over the poof it's been a few years and I'm over it so that's gone um, and I don't think I have anything in this apart from the strap so yeah, I do have an insert for this. I actually bought uh, like a lavender, purple lavender colored insert, which was beautiful. So I might go and put that back in here. Um, but that was actually for a Cellier style. So not the Retourne style, the Cellier style, which is the stitching on the outside. Um, and I find that those styles are a little bit smaller then the Retourne, which is kind of a little bit why I like the Retourne, because you can fit a lot in. I like my bags to be functional. Um, whereas a Cellier, you can't fit as much in with these larger bags. I'm sorry guys, I cannot remember the color of that yellow one. Um, I think it was something like Juni or Jubini or something like that. Uh, I'll put it on screen. But it is in that video. Um, if you guys wanted to go back through my channel, through my library, type in that handbag and you'll be able to see it or even like Kelly 32 I think it'll come up as well my other 32 is this gorgeous burgundy one I have used this one so much guys this was a custom order um, it has rose gold hardware and it also has pink internals 
Um, in hindsight, in hindsight, I don't think I would go with this combo again. I love the burgundy and I love the rose gold hardware, but the pink internals to me, it has vagina vibes. It really does. Every time I look into it, I'm like, why did I do this combination? <laughs> Is it just me? Is it just me? Is it just my brain? Um, anyway, I have the strap in there. I've got an insert in pink as well as the lining in pink. Um, I will put the name, the names of these colors on screen. I can't remember the name of this one, um, but it's this beautiful dark burgundy. It could even be Bordeaux, um, the color. I even put a little, I had a little Louis Vuitton key charm which I actually like putting here but I find that if I put it there then you can't close it and if I put it underneath then sort of like you can't open the flap it kind of stops it from opening so it's a knowing situation unless I put it on this other side and have it like that but then it's looking really messy see so I don't know I'm still yet to decide what to do with that charm. I put it on the other day and I was like, eh. Um, there you go. Love this one. This one, the 32, I just, it's, it is a boss bag. You know, if you're a boss, if you're a girl boss, you got your stuff, you got heaps of things, you got an iPad on you at all times, you've got your notebook, you've got your journal, you've got your to-do list, blah, blah, blah. This would be the bag. I mean the Birkin's great too but I I do love this because it's just corporate you know it's just corporate. Anyway one of my favorite bags. Okay the next bag I want to talk about is my very new Pegasus Her Bag. This bag is so gorgeous guys. Um, I love the relaxed vibes that this bag has the canvas, there is something definitely very cool about it. Uh, two things I don't like about this bag. There are two things. And I did own one of these previously, which I adored as well, but the faff was real. Taking it in and out of this was real. Uh, the first thing I don't like about it is this strap. It's made out of really thick leather, but it is so chunky and stiff. Can you see how stiff it is? It doesn't like drop nicely. It's not like the other straps of the Kelly 32. Um, they're really kind of thick, kind of like equestrian strap kind of things. And I just find that it just doesn't sit well and it, it's in the way and it whacks you. See that? So I have had a serious mind to actually remove this because it can be removed. And I think maybe I'll have a much better time with this bag if it's removed, but then I have no option to crossbody it. So we will see. Um, the other thing that really annoys me are these. Now, I know what you're saying, the Kelly 32 has the exact same straps, but they're not annoying. They don't stick out like aliens. Like these ones, you know, you open the bag and then you go, okay, I wanna close it. And then there are these stabby straps. They're like robot arms. Um, and they annoy me as well. And I have the mind to actually pull them through and remove the whole strap. Is that stupid? Is that silly? I don't know. I mean, if I take this off, it means that this strap here is not going to, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to yank it out and see, I'm going to yank it out and see how I feel because something's got to change. Okay, hang on. So I am pretty much undoing this because I have to say, I've stopped wearing this bag because of this strap, these straps and this thick one. So I'm going to quickly, I'm going to unscrew these poles. All right, rookie error number one. I have taken off the big strap, which is fine, but I actually need to put the back straps back on because there's nothing 
for this to actually attach to unless I put the lock there and then that would kind of secure it but then these flat bits have got nothing to secure onto either so I actually think that I need those straps in okay so after all the faffing about I had to keep the straps on um, and that's because they actually have a function and they actually secure this flap in place and without it the flap is not secure um, so I did take off this shoulder strap which I just feel like it makes it so much more easier to use and then I've also taken off one of these straps now I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it but I kind of feel like the thinner strap is gonna be easier to use but I can already feel like it's a little bit harsh on my fingers so I might have to put that one back on but at least the huge shoulder strap is gone um, and you know I think I can live with the straps sort of being tucked in which is sort of what I've done there but absolutely adore this bag guys this bag is so cute I actually wanted after getting this one in I wanted to get the one with the H on it as well uh, I thought that was super cute and you know if the print is done right and if it's not just a plain canvas body I think it could be quite a usable bag I chose a print because I knew from experience from the last her bag that I had that they were really easily marked because this is a canvas material so and I, even though I scotch guarded it I still felt like oh if it gets dirty it's gonna be really really hard to clean so when it's got a print on it I kind of feel like it's I don't know not as bad um, I know there's no print on the back but I yeah absolutely love the print I instantly loved the print as soon as I saw the Pegasus print I thought yes and even the little charms never loved those charms but when I saw the Pegasus ones I was like that is it um, so absolutely adore this I haven't really worn this to death either be aware guys that this is a smooth leather up here they all come with the smooth leather so if little scratches annoy you this is not going to be the bag for you um, this is the bag for someone who doesn't care about those scratches and the more scratches the better because it's going to age nicely etc so yeah just thought I would give a little mention to that but I'm liking it so much better without the shoulder strap and I actually have had harsh handles like this before and what I do is just run like a metal rod or something on the edges just to smooth them out so they're not so sharp because um, I don't think they're designed to just have the one strap so I will have to kind of adjust it a little bit but there you go my her bag I did have another one which I've actually sold so I only have this one now um, and in a way I've a little bit regretted selling that one because it was really beautiful the colorway of that was my ideal colorway I just found that I wasn't using it and when I don't use a bag I don't like to keep it because I think it's a waste not only is it a waste of money but I think it's a waste of the life of the bag you know I kind of have this thing inside me that wants someone else to get better use and love out of the bag if I'm not getting it so yeah that's a big reason why I move bags on all right the next bag and we're getting into the Birkins now is my Birkin 30 in the this is not the gold color I think it's called Kruvi Kruvi I'll put it on screen I'm really sorry really bad at French never studied it this bag is gorgeous it is such a beautiful leather this is in the Togo leather um, and I absolutely love it the way that this is softened is really beautiful there is not a scratch on this bag this is the perfect holiday bag as well not that I'd use it for holidays because it doesn't have a strap but if you guys are okay with these bags um, for holidays then by all means I think the color is very holiday-esque very summer spring relaxed vibes now guys we are gonna do the honors because it has been a while since I've had this bag in and even though nothing is happening with the stickers I am gonna take the stickers off 
for you guys because it's been a while and I know that it's not good to have them on for too long or else they do oxidize. So we are going to do the honors. There's a sticker here, which actually doesn't look like there's a sticker because it's super shiny. I believe I've already taken the one off this side. Um, so I need to take this one and I need to take this one. This is a matte one. This one is just a clear one. I mean, it's like it's brand new. Oh my goodness. And then this one. Okay, this one's going to need a little bit of a clean up because where the sticker was just here, it's sort of left a little bit of glue. And this one actually isn't all off. This one definitely needed to come off. And I didn't realize. Here we go. There we go. I wasn't taking it off properly. All right, now that's beautiful. I need to clean up just the edge there where I was using my fingers a lot. Beautiful polished hardware. Super amazing. Oh, it just looks brand new, doesn't it? And that's the feeling that I absolutely love. And that's why I wait to take off the stickers. I've probably had this bag for over 12 months, I think. Has it been 12 months? No, I don't think it's been 12 months. Um, but yeah, definitely six months. And I just, I feel like it's like brand new. Stickers come off, you know, maybe refresh the twillies. This one still smells like a brand new bag. Um, this is such a classic that I don't know if I will ever get rid of this one. So this color is not the gold and it's more, more of a terracotta color compared to the gold. Um, I don't really have anything in the gold. I'm not sure if my 40 Birkin is a gold. Um, it was such a long time ago. But you can kind of see there's a difference there. You can see it's way more orange and more of a terracotta color. Um, I also have a gold in a Kelly and you can see there's a difference in the color, but this is in an Epsom leather. So that's going to pull a little bit differently in the color. But this is my Birkin 30. Um, this was not the first Birkin that I received, but it was a classic that I knew that I needed. Okay, the next Birkin 30 is probably one of my favorites in my entire collection. And it is this gorgeous red color. Um, I think this was the color that I remember. Um, I've been getting, I'm getting so confused with the colors now. I'm getting them all wrong. Uh, all the stickers are off on this one. They do need a little bit of a polish. I bought this gorgeous Louis Vuitton little charm, but I absolutely love this bag. The red of this bag to me is the absolute perfect red. It is not too dark. It is not too light. It is not too pink. It is not too orange. It's a real bright red, the perfect red, I think. Um, I absolutely adore this. I do love the red twilly that I put on the back of this. Um, maybe I should try and get another one. But then I've also got the houndstooth one on the front. I think this one's a Christian Dior one. But absolutely love this Birkin 30. This is probably out of my two Birkin 30s, this is the one that I use more. I just find that the color is gorgeous. Um, I find that when I'm wearing neutrals, which is most of the time, this just adds a pop of color and I absolutely love it. Sometimes I match it with a red lip, sometimes I don't. Um, I just sort of feel, you know, feel it. What I'm, it depends on what I'm feeling on the day, um, but I absolutely adore this bag. And I've been thinking about getting this in a small, but I just, I don't want to duplicate. So I'm kind of thinking, you know what, just keep it in the 30 and it will be amazing. Next up, we are heading into the Birkin 25s. This is one of my newer ones that I got in. Absolutely love the 25. I find it such a great everyday bag. I use my Birkins a lot. I use them more than the Kellys. 
um, they're just a great running around town, throw everything open, casual vibes. You know, I do find the Birkin a hell of a lot more casual than the Kelly. So I find this bag a little bit harder to dress up um, just because of the style. So this is in the color Cray. Uh, it is this off-white cream, beigey cream color. This one still has the stickers on and I will be keeping the stickers on for a little bit. I've only just received this bag a few months ago, um, but it is gorgeous. It is in the Togo. I believe this is the Togo. This is in the Palladium hardware, um, the silver hardware, which I love. I just find it super neutral. I do find though that with the color Cray, it does look really beautiful with the gold hardware. That's something that I'm really finding. It really depends the color of the leather and how it throws. This one has a warm tone to it. So I feel like the yellow gold hardware would have probably been really nice with this and would have made it look a little bit more expensive. But in having it in the palladium, in the silver finish, I feel that it does make it a little bit more casual. Um, and if you're not an overdresser, you know, if you wear a lot of casual things, jeans, t-shirts, I think this would look beautiful. Absolutely love this bag. I wear this one surprisingly a lot considering that I don't wear a lot of light colors at the moment, but um, yeah, loving this. My next Birkin 25 is probably my favorite one out of all my Birkin 25s. And it is this one in the Mauve Sylvester and it's because it's in this color and because it's my only Birkin in Epsom leather. I have stayed away from Epson for so many years. I always thought that I wouldn't like it. I always thought that it would be like the, what's that leather? The Safriano leather from Prada. And I do not like that leather. I find it looks really cheap. So I just assumed that this would be like that. Um, and boy was I wrong. I was so wrong. Again, I was wrong. And I didn't realize when this bag was um, became available, I actually wanted the pale pink, the pink Sakura, I think it's called, the Sakura pink color um, from Hermes in the Togo. I uh, know, in the Swift leather, so in the smooth leather. Um, but they didn't have that one in stock. And she said, look, we do have this one though. We've got this leather, we can make this bag for you. And I said, oh, okay, I'll give it a go. I, it was like the happiest mistake of my life because when I saw this color, I absolutely fell in love. This is like a bubblegum pink, um, a little bit of a cool tone pink and I had never seen another color like it. I don't have another color pink like this in my collection. Um, and I just think it is super beautiful. It also sits a little bit different to my other Birkins because of the Epsom leather. It's got a little bit more of a structured feel and structured body, which I really like, particularly in the small, but I think I need to try it in a 30 as well because I think um, I would really like that. Um, I don't mind the slouching of the 30. I'm looking down because that's where my 30s are. Uh, but I don't mind the slouching of the Togo leather, but, and I do love it on the bigger bags, like the 35, the 40. I love how slouchy those are over time with the Togo, but there's something to be said about an Epsom that is just structured and a little bit more, stiff I just I don't know um, this color just absolutely stole my heart I absolutely love it I'm so glad I didn't have the Sakura pink one I still want to try a Swift leather or a box leather I absolutely love those um, and that is gonna have to come with a special order so I have to find the right time for that but I mean this Epsom is just It's the bag that I 
never knew that I needed in my life. I still have my stickers on um, because this is a really new bag as well. All right, the last 25 I want to show you guys is my newest one. If you guys have been looking at my stories on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know exactly the bag I'm talking about. It is this gorgeous orange Birkin 25. This is in the color Few, 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 Few. I think it's Few, it's F-E-U. Um, it is the poppiest orange color there is. There is a color called Orange Poppy as well, which is not quite like this. It's a bit stronger and a little bit darker. Um, however, this one is just a real gorgeous pop of color. Now, I love how this one feels. I mean, I love how all of my Birkins feel, but this one, um, I think it's because it's a little bit new as well. It's still kind of molding, um, but this is just, I mean, the orange, you cannot go wrong. It is iconically, iconically MS. Uh, and I just feel like if you want to pop a color, this is it. This is it. Um, this is also a custom order. So you can see here on the top that it's got the horseshoe stamp um, on it. This is just orange on the internals and orange on the outer. It does have brushed gold um, hardware, which I um, didn't talk about in the video to this because the stickers were on and I didn't realize. Now, how do I not realize? Because I was sent this bag um, and I knew it was a special order, but I just thought it was the orange that was the special order and I didn't realize that it was the gold hardware that was brushed, which is just beautiful. There is just something about the brush gold just makes it so special. Um, yeah, just gives it this depth to the hardware. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just gorgeous. Absolutely love this. I'm still, this is so new that I'm still working out different styling ways to style this bag um, and how to wear it. I've been trying it with lots of neutrals, which have been really, really great. I might actually try it with jeans or something like that, um, or maybe even all black and see if that works. There you go. Now the next bag I have is the one and only Constance that I have. This one is super gorgeous. Um, it's in the malachite color, which is this teal kind of color. It looks a lot brighter on screen and a lot bluer on screen than it is in reality. It's a little bit more of a green, kind of swamp green kind of color. I always tuck the strap in, which is why it looks like that. Um, this one's got the gold hardware. Uh, which is beautiful and beautiful interior. To be honest, I have not used this one that much. I find that I don't grab crossbodies like this without top handles unless I am going to a festival or a market or somewhere where I know I will need a crossbody. It's also slightly smaller um, as well, so yeah, I have to sort of be in the mood for a small bag if I'm gonna take something like this. But I really wanted to check this color out to see how I felt about it. Um, and yeah, I'm just still, I think, working out what to wear it with. The next bag I have is also one of a kind in my Hermes wardrobe collection. And it is the 24 by 24. <sighs> I have tried dupes of this bag in the past in neutrals and they've all been great but when this one came along I mean it's starting to droop you can see this I'm gonna have to stuff it but it is a soft leather so that's what's gonna happen um, when I saw this combo I could not resist I could not resist it's got this gorgeous hot pink really strong fuchsia color in the body and then it's got this bright orangey red 
smooth leather here. Um, this one's a grain leather. I don't know what this leather is, but the accents of the orangey pink are just stunning. It does look a little bit darker on in person than it does on screen. So just letting you guys know, it's looking quite bright on screen. I'm also going to take off the sticker because this bag has been in my collection for about maybe six months. And I think it's time, guys. I think. Oh, shiny. So pretty. Wow, so nice. I've also got a sticker on the inside too. So let's get rid of this. We're going to do this together. Now I wish I got a glass of wine. Okay. Oh my God, so beautiful. So beautiful. And then there's also one here. Oh my God, it just never ends. You know it's time when it ends up looking tatty and you're like, you know what? It'll look better without... All of that. Three stickers are off. It's looking gorgeous. And I also think it just makes it look brand new, doesn't it? With the gold hardware, just this combo is super cute. Real gorgeous pop of color. I just love how relaxed this one looks. It's a real casual style. Um, and I just think, you know what? I might not even stuff it because I kind of want it to have its own soft shape and be super relaxed. Be great travel bag, absolutely great. Okay, now we're getting to the last three bags and the first one is my mini Kelly in the fuchsia color. This was the very first mini Kelly that I received and I have to be honest, it's probably my favorite out of all my mini Kellys. I adore this color, I never thought that I would wear this color so much and I wear it so much. Like who would think this color is like, you know, a normal everyday color. Well, in my wardrobe, it kind of is. Um, I absolutely adore it. Even if I'm wearing all black, it just looks beautiful. If I'm wearing white, it looks beautiful. I don't wear it with many neutrals, but I do wear it with jeans quite a lot. And I wear it a lot with pink. So when I wear a pink blazer or if I wear a pink dress, I kind of grab this. Um, I also have dresses that have elements of pink in them, which I also use for this as well. I absolutely love this um, bag. It is really small. The mini Kellys are tiny, you know, so if you want a bag that's functional with heaps of room, this is not it. This won't even fit a big wallet. You know, those big chunky wallets that everyone used to have 20 years ago. This wouldn't fit one of those. This is like card holder, keys, you know, small phone kind of job. Maybe a lipstick, maybe. Um, but yeah, tiny, tiny bag. I've got to do something about this twilly because this twilly is really annoying me. One side is super long. So let's see if we can fix that now. Okay, good. Now they're both kind of short. I mean, I don't really need a twilly for these and my other two mini Kellys I don't have twillies for, but I just thought I had this twilly lying around. Um, it's an Hermes twilly and I thought, you know what? It would go really nicely on this. So that's why I put it on. Absolutely also love the palladium hardware on this. Um, the palladium hardware with this color, I just think looks so beautiful. It really sets off the pink. Because it's like the Mauve Sylvester, it goes a little bit cool tone, this color pink. So I think it's beautiful in the silver. Palladium. The second mini Kelly I've got is my gold one. Um, this is the true gold color, but it is in the Epsom leather. This one also has the gold hardware, which is iconic. I think gold on gold is just a classic. This one has the contrast stitching. I, look, I really wanted the contrast stitching, but I don't know if I would get it again. I find it's very relaxed. 
it has relaxed equestrian vibes which is probably exactly what they want um, in this bag and it is would be beautiful for someone I just don't probably think it's very me I like my colors to be all over so you know the stitching matching the bag color etc not really into contrast stitching I'm not really also apart from that pink um, 24 by 24 I usually don't like multi-colored bags. I usually just like singular colored bags. So all one color. I find that when a bag is two tone or three tone or four tone, if it's multiple colors, I find I don't wear it as much. And this is, I mean, you'll see in my collection, I do have bags that are not just one color. I have multi-colored multi bags. I have bags with prints on them. I, you know, do go outside of that bubble however I find that I don't use those bags as much as a plain colored bag but I still love this one I still use this one particularly when I'm traveling I usually always take a mini Kelly with me depending on the range of outfits that I've got and also where I'm actually going if I'm going to a beach destination or a resort or anything like that I usually take something like this because it's neutral it has holiday vibes um, it's you know it goes with the beach etc uh, so yeah still get a lot of use out of this one but probably not as much as my other two now the last mini Kelly and the last bag in my collection is this little mini Kelly in the black this one is just a staple I think um, I don't know what it is about this one I just adore it I love this so much that I'm considering getting one with the palladium hardware I don't know if I should though I feel like the gold just looks way better and it looks more luxe and high-end um, and I just feel like it is such a gorgeous bag does this one still have it still has the stickers we're gonna reveal that we're gonna take the stickers off guys because it's been a while. I've had this bag for a while and the stickers need to come off. So we're gonna do the honors, do the honors. I think this was the last Kelly that I received. Oh, something's going skew if here, here we go. Okay, I took sticker off there. Now I'm going to take the sticker off. The sticker's already off on the base. It was probably coming off at one point. This one's already started lifting, so we're just going to take that off. There you go. And then this one, the same thing. I'm just going to peel it off. There you go it looks brand new um, wow it is so shiny now I've forgotten how shiny it actually is and you know what even though I have a thing about these flaps flapping around on the mini Kelly it doesn't bother me and I think it's because it's so small that it's not you know hugely noticeable so there you go beautiful stitching and everything on the back um this bag gets a lot of use guys uh surprisingly not as much use as the fuchsia colored one the magnolia colored one um yeah but it's a black bag you, know, you can't go wrong with a black bag and this is the one i reach for i've got chanel ones i've got dior ones i've got a bunch of other little small black bags but I always reach for this one and I think it's because there's not a lot of logos it's a very simple design there's not quilts or anything everywhere I find that when there's too much going on it can be very distracting and it can look messy and that just distracts from an outfit I think so for me I like to work on a really nice outfit but also have something that complements it and usually a simple design does that so there you go. 
Well guys, I really hoped you enjoyed this video. I thought it was about time I showed you guys through my Hermes handbag collection. I have gotten quite a few in recently, um, which has really added to my collection. Um, I still have my eye on a few unique pieces that I've been seeing around town um, that I think I would love um, for something new. So keep your eye on my channel guys because I will be getting some more MS pieces in over the next couple of months. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays and head over to my Instagram. I'm super prominent over there. I do polls, giveaways and a hell of a lot more. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.